I'm going to take you this week through kind of like a work week in my life so basically what I'm doing is I'm working from home from for today and I think a lot of this week but I might go in to work into the office like two days so I'm I just said in my last video that I wanted to try a little bit harder to balance YouTube in with my new schedule so I thought it might be interesting to show you guys sort of how I'm fitting everything in um, I'm still obviously getting there, I'm still working on it, but I thought it could be interesting to some of you guys um, how I am working essentially three jobs right now. So I've just woken up, had a coffee, we sort of ran out of coffee this morning, so it sort of tastes very watery, but I'll have to do like a little grocery shop or something um, tonight. We might go when I finish work this evening, but it's super rainy outside and I'm feeling a bit tired but it was a really sort of restful weekend we had um, a friend over yesterday for lunch and we just had a really chill one did a bit of cleaning etc um, but it's about 10 to 9 now and I'm about to start work for the day I think today I'm gonna be working on a presentation that I've got for Thursday sort of like a benchmark presentation on like a competitor analysis and things like that which it's quite interesting actually so I don't know if you guys are interested in in um, that or like what I'm doing or whatever but but yeah I'm going to start work for the day now and basically I'm working from two computers today so yeah I'm gonna get started on that now usually in the mornings we sort of have like um, like I'll sort of just start work by myself and we have like chats on um, online like Microsoft Teams and things like that when I work from home so we're always sort of in contact with everyone in our department which is really good and obviously on emails and everything like that um, I sort of have an idea now like a little routine um, of everything that I have to do um, per day in the week so like Mondays and Thursdays we do like a reviewing uh, products that are going to be flagged online and we have to do a few sort of like tests for that before they go live but since we're actually in a freeze at the moment so nothing can go live at the moment on the website so I'm not sure what we're going to be doing this morning and on Thursday because we can't really push anything live at the moment so so yeah we'll see what this week has in store but I should definitely start work now and we'll check in with you guys a little bit later. about 6 30 and it's so nice it's like still daylight outside daylight savings and spring is definitely coming um so it feels really really nice i feel like i still have the day left it's not dark when i finish work which is nice but today is actually the first day all week that i've finished before 7 7 p.m because usually um i like to do a little bit of extra work afterwards um because technically i finish at six but it never really finishes at six so I like to just like dedicate some time to finish things or tie up loose ends or work on something for the next day or something like that just so I feel like I'm on top of things because I'm learning a lot of new things at the moment with my job and I don't want to fall behind and I've had a lot of like presentations that I'm doing and so they take sort of a lot of technical work and research and things like that so I'm always sort of doing work outside of my outside of my normal hours but that's right. Right now though, I am going to do a workout because it always makes me feel so much better after a day of work. So that's my plan for now. And hopefully I'll finish up by seven, have a shower 
and have a glass of wine I think and my boyfriend was so lovely and he went to the the markets this morning and got like a bunch of fruit and veggies and stuff so that's super nice but yeah oh, it's so bright it's like the nicest day also I got a little package and I'm planning a few things for my boyfriend's birthday so I ordered some I think I could say it on this vlog I think this vlog will go up after his birthday but Basically, I ordered like some balloons. I got him a present already and I ordered a cake as well. So I should be able to go and pick the cake up um, the day before his birthday or on his birthday. So that should be ready by then. So that's super exciting. So I'm planning a little like low key thing. And then the day that he wakes up on his birthday, which is on the 20th of April, he's going to wake up to balloons and I got like normal ones and he's turning 26. So I got those massive like foil balloons that have 20 like they have the numbers written on them or letters or whatever so i got the number 26 so i'm gonna blow that up i'll probably have to get up very early it's gonna be it's gonna be a very long day I'll probably get up like five or six in the morning just to like make sure that it's all done before he wakes up and i still haven't decided when i'm gonna go pick up the cake but i'm sure like i'll figure out all the all of those details in time but for now, I'm going to leave this little clip here, check in with you guys a bit later. I'm going to go and do, do a workout. So yeah, that's me for the day. It's been a big, it's been a long day of work. I started this morning at like eight o'clock because I had to practice my presentation and because I had two presentations today. <laughs> and yeah, so that's where I'm at, but it's a good day, feeling good. So I'm going to check in with you guys probably tomorrow because I think I'm not really getting up to very much for the rest of the of the rest of the night but yeah I'll chat to you guys tomorrow last day of the working week and then it's the weekend so I'm very excited about the weekend but anyway I'm procrastinating my workout so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow since I've checked in with you guys since I've been been on here been on YouTube um, it's probably been about two months since I've filmed I actually have a video that I still need to edit and upload but honestly it's just been a hectic couple of months um, with work and everything I've had a lot of changes and a lot sort of going on in my life that I've had to sort out and I guess YouTube has taken a bit of a, a bit of a backseat but I'm back I'm really sorry for the absence. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how many of you were waiting around for a video, but I certainly feel like um, I missed vlogging and I missed YouTube. And so I'm super happy to be back and filming this video. Um, I do want to be more consistent. I know that I mentioned in my previous video that um, I was going through quite a lot of changes in my life um, in terms of work, in terms of, I guess, trying to sort out all the bureaucratic process um, I guess I'm transitioning my life here in Italy. It's definitely been a process um, and it's definitely not over. So I've had a little bit of hiccups with that. It's been quite stressful because, I mean, as you can imagine, when you're, transition you're transferring your entire life to the other side of the world, it's not, it's not easy and nothing has seemed to be going <laughs> the way that I planned, which is just life really just giving me a big old slap in the face and telling me that you know don't make plans because they're going to change anyway so i'm trying to just go with the flow even though things are definitely stressing me out at the moment um i've had you know issues with getting my resident residency extended um and various processes with that and i mean here in italy <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna make an entire video about this because I have so much to say about it, but I know in the past I've said a lot on my channel about things that I love about Italy and I really do love this country. It's, um, you know, an amazing lifestyle. There are so many amazing qualities about it. I love living here. I love Milan. I love the people for the most part, <laughs> but there's certainly been um, some downs and 
I guess I haven't really spoken very much about like the negatives of living in Italy or I mean of course you guys would know like with any place there's negatives I know you guys aren't naive and you know that you know with every place um, you have to take the good with the bad. But things have been really testing for me in the past couple of couple of months. I guess just trying to navigate adapting to a new mentality because I remember the first time that I came here, I was certainly in a different mentality and I probably was in a little bit of a state of ignorance, I suppose. And you know, as much as I got to know the culture and everything, I wasn't in the mindset of, I guess, transitioning my life here and I was a lot more carefree and I sort of just like avoided all the bad stuff, I guess, and well, not all of it, that's not true, but a lot of it. But now um, I'm really sort of delving a lot deeper into into life here because I guess this is where this is where I'm living now. I mean, for the for the foreseeable future and just trying to make it work has been a little bit tricky but um, I'm certainly not one to give up and I'm not one to back down easily so um, everything's fine everything's going fine but I've certainly had like a very stressful couple of months so hopefully I can sort all of that out and give you guys some happier I guess happier vlogs and more consistent vlogs in the upcoming months as I sort of sort all of that out slowly fingers crossed and should have some more exciting content coming up but I thought it would be interesting as well um, I mean today's Saturday so it's the weekend I have had a pretty busy week at work but I'm really really loving it I'm really loving my new position I know um, some of you might know that I started a new job about two months ago so essentially when I dropped off the face of the earth on YouTube <laughs> And um, it's been really, really challenging, but I really love working in those kinds of environments. I really love new learning new skills and um, I guess improving my experience, improving also my Italian and meeting all of these new people who are really, really hardworking. And it is super inspiring to me to have to be surrounded by those kinds of people. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I know a lot of you guys would be the same or you'd be able to relate, but it certainly puts me in a really motivated frame of mind. And I feel like it's really been perking me up during the week. And especially since Milan is opening, opening up again now, finally, we're in a yellow zone and the weather is starting to warm up and be super, super beautiful you can spend so much more time outside and in the park and on the weekends you know you're not always stuck inside doing nothing basically or you know it's not too cold to go out so this morning i've actually gone and gone for a walk i got myself a little coffee and a cordonetto and i'm gonna eat that and just i think relax for the morning i do have a little bit of work to do this afternoon um just to catch up on because I've had a bunch of appointments this week and I've missed uh, sort of a few hours here and there of work. So I've got to catch up. I've got like a couple of presentations next week I've got to do and a couple of like little other little things to do as well. So I'm here by myself in the house today. My boyfriend has gone out with his friend. His friend is actually staying with us here for the weekend um, and they've gone to see like his friend's cousin uh, just for the morning. So I thought I would just stay here and get a few things done. I'd done <laughs> a lot of stuff actually this morning. I've done a load of washing. I have cleaned up a little bit, gone out, got myself a coffee, hung the washing. And now here I am and I'm going to make probably another coffee <sighs> because, you know, it's one of those days. But I hope you guys, I mean, thank you for sticking around. I know I've been I know I've been absent for a while, but I really appreciate you guys commenting and um, all your messages on Instagram and everything like that. I really really appreciate it, and it just makes me realize as well why I love YouTube so much and how much I love connecting with people. Some of my friends here in Milan, I actually um, met up with someone who I met through Instagram, and he's one of my friends here in Milan and. From that, it's sort of created like a domino effect and I've met like so many people through that. So yeah, I really love this platform. Um, it provides so many different opportunities and yeah, I know I'm going on a little bit of a tangent, but I suppose I just wanted to have a little bit of a catch up with you guys because I know I haven't filmed in quite a long time. So 
I hope you enjoy this video. I don't really know what I'm going to get up to, but um, nonetheless, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to take you along with me, at least for today, and maybe a little bit tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to get up to, but I will check in with you guys a bit later. Maybe when I'm doing something, I don't know, a little bit different, or I might go out uh, into the park or something later. <laughs> home I went shopping as you guys might have seen but I've done a little bit of damage I did buy a few things while I was out um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got some of it's not very exciting it's just like literally for the home but um, I bought a couple of dresses as well and I'll show you so we needed like a couple of new towels so um, I got just a couple of really soft white um, bath towels and a new bath mat. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's fallen down. Oh, and then I went to Coz as well. This is one of my favorite stores. I only just recently started shopping here actually um, because when I was in Sydney, it's, I mean, Sydney's quite far away from where I live in Australia. So I didn't get to go there that often, but in Milan, it's super close to the city center. So I go there quite a lot these days. <laughs> Um, but basically I just got like, um, I don't know. It's like a jumpsuit. I might try it on for you guys tomorrow. Um, but basically it's like a super cute summery, like little jumpsuit and it's got a little waist tie as well. So it's super pretty. And then just a really simple, um, sort of black, uh, full length, full length dress with the little spaghetti straps, which is really cute. Really love that. And I got a candle as well. And oh, I've wanted one of these for so long, one of these really big candles. I just got it from Zara Home actually, but it's super big and super pretty. I'm gonna put this stuff away, enjoy my new bath mat and candles. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna go out tonight. I think maybe I will go out a little bit later. Yeah, it's a pretty chill Saturday afternoon. Um, I'm just gonna hang around here for a while, just relax for a bit, um, put all this stuff away. I might even like try on all my new stuff and I'll talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm. 